Okay, muscle respirations. Muscle respirations. Uh, we're gonna talk about quiet breathing or uh, passive breathing or active breathing. Um, quiet, quiet breathing, which is like uh, normal breathing. You breathe in and out normally. Uh, you need to use uh, all those kind of muscle muscles. Uh, whereas active breathing is more like when you are exercising or you do strenuous uh, activities. You use uh, more muscles to um, in uh, active breathing. Um, in quiet breathing, during inspirations, you all you use is the diaphragm. All you use is the diaphragm, which contracts the diaphragm. When it contracts, uh, the domes of the diaphragm will descend, and thus increasing the longitudinal dimension to the thoracic cavity, and it also elevates the the, the ribs, um, and that will lead to inspirations, uh, whereas in uh, expirations during passive, uh, the um, the passive recoil of the lungs will lead uh, to expirations. Um, in active breathing, uh, where you do exercise, strenuous exercise activities, um, during inspirations, what you need uh, are the external external intercostal muscles which are uh, which are these external intercostal muscles contract uh, and the scalene muscles scalene muscles are um, the ones that uh, attach to your ribs first second ribs um, and the sternocleidomastoids these muscles, when it contracts, elevates the rib cage, and the sterno, the sternums will get elevated, and that increases the uh, intrathoracic cavity, leads to uh, leads to uh, inspirations. Um, during active breathing, expirations during active breathing, what you need are the internal. Uh, intercostal muscle, the internal intercostal muscles right here, and uh, you also need the abdominal muscles to do it, um, which include the internal, uh, the internal oblique, uh, the external oblique, the transversus abdominis muscles, and the main one would be the rectus abdominis muscles. Uh, when these muscle contracts, it will decreases the um, intrathoracic cavity leads to uh, expirations.